Solid bag fishing has played a huge part in my angling over the last three years. So much so that for 90% of my angling now, that's all I'll use. The only time that I ever differ or change that is if I'm fishing at super extreme long range or there's nuisance fish such as tench and bream, which obviously are going to decimate your bags. I guess I got onto bags a little bit later than probably what I should have done. It started around three years ago at Linear Fisheries. I got asked to use them on a shoot, ended up with 16 fish that trip, a couple of 30 pounders. And ever since that particular trip, it changed my outlook completely. What I do believe is they will get you more bites than what, say, a single hook bait approach will. I think they are the most attractive way of fishing and having a small parcel of food around your hook bait at all times. And what I mean by versatile is you can use them on a naked system, you can use them with rig tubing, solid bags for all intents and purposes. On the match side of things is a method feeder. You can use two different lead setups with it. You can use a lead clip or an inline lead. I prefer an inline lead setup as opposed to a lead clip. I just think it's more streamlined. And obviously when you're putting everything inside the bag and you're compacting everything inside, it's 100% tangle free. There's only really a chod rig out there that offers you the same anti-tangle properties. So what I'll do is I'll put the lead inside, my rig, my hook bait, and when I'm, when I'm tying them, I'm making them as super tight as possible to be as aerodynamic as possible so I can cast them a hell of a long way. And inside the bag as well, it's really important what you put inside the bag. They're a great method, but there are a couple of things that people do wrong with them, i.e. hook bait size. You put in a lot of small food items within the solid bag. You want to imitate that with your hook bait size. It's no good sticking an 18 mil bottom bait on and using micro or two mil pellets inside the bag. It's just going to stand out like a sore thumb to the fish and nine times out of 10 it'll get avoided. So normally it's a nice bright waft to start with, really small in diameter, something that imitates the food, the free offerings I'm putting inside the bag. So hook baits are a massive, massive edge with inside the bag, but it's using them at the right time. And it's same with the bag contents. So personally, I like to use ground bait inside my solid bags. That serves two or three different purposes. So first of all, it gives you another layer of attraction. Secondly, it, if there's a little bit of moisture or damp on your lead or your rig, it stops it from melting the PVA. And number two, when you fold your corners on on your bag, when you come to make your bag, it's a lot easier to do that and get all the air pockets out than it is with pellet at the bottom of the bag. Secondly, I'll use pellets. Now, when I use pellets, it's micro pellets or two mil pellets. I'd never use anything bigger than two mil. What happens then is you can't really compact the bag enough and get all the air out of it if you're using big, big food items, i.e. four, six or eight mil pellets. You can still make your bags, but you won't get them as tight and therefore they won't be as aerodynamic and they won't cast as well the larger the food items you put in. Another little tip that I use with my bags is I always like to use liquids. Regardless of the time of the year, liquids are a massive, massive edge. Hemp oil and foss oil are brilliant during the summer months. Cream, cell or fruit or any of the smart liquids from mainland, I've used them religiously with my bags, either squirting them inside the bags or coating the outside of the bag. And what you'll find then is, when that bag gets to the lake bed and starts to break down, the ground bait and the hemp oil or the smart liquid will start to work through not just the bottom substrate but also up through the water column as well and when it comes to bag fishing the world's your oyster so if you haven't tried them give them a go and i'm sure they'll do the same for you